Right now at 10, cleanup continues at the site of a train derailment near DeSoto. The governor got an up-close look at the wreckage today. And more Wisconsin families are looking for help putting food on the table. A budget proposal would give kids free lunches at school to help ease the pressure. Plus, honoring those lost on Workers Memorial Day. Lacrosse area workers are calling on companies to make jobs safer. Watching WKDT Lacrosse, this is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Cleanup crews are working around the clock to clear train cars that derailed near DeSoto yesterday. Governor Tony Evers got a tour of the site this afternoon. The state is working with DNT and Department of Transportation to help BNSF clear the site. The governor says it's too early to talk about solutions because the focus right now is supporting the surrounding community. The locals uh, have done just an outstanding job. This is the way it's supposed to work uh, when you have something like this. Uh, locals are here, they're right here, they're trained. The BNSF say 10 cars derailed. Each car had two cargo containers. The only hazardous materials in the boxes were batteries and paint. Officials say those are contained and there's no danger to the public. If you prepare for the worst and hope for the best, you'll never be surprised. So we prepared for the very worst situation there was, and luckily uh, our response was good to a bad situation. Now some diesel did spill into the river, but crews contained it with absorbent boons. BNSF is responsible for all cleanup costs. Representative Lauren Oldenburg and State Senator Brad Paff were on site today. Representatives from Senators Ron Johnson and Tammy Baldwin, as well as House Representative Derek Van Orden's office, also stopped by. Now, Van Orden tells News 8 now that Congress will make sure these kind of derailments don't happen anymore. Van Orden says he got, quote, explicit assurance from BNSF that those tracks in Crawford County were fine. My staff people were given explicit assurance that these tracks are getting uh, inspected on a much more frequent basis and that something like this would not happen uh, because they've been inspecting the tracks. Now, the U.S. Department of Transportation says the House bill to raise the debt ceiling and cut government spending would result in 7,500 fewer railroad inspection days. Van Norton is one of the many Republicans and House representatives to approve that bill, so we asked him about it. Now, Van Orden did not confirm nor deny if the bill would result in fewer inspections. Instead, he told us, quote, these people are fear-mongering and trying to use this as a negotiating tactic with the House of Representatives. Mississippi River flooding continues and waters have reached into Davenport, Iowa. Governor Kim Reynolds issued a disaster proclamation for 10 counties along the river. Nearly 30 river gauges are in major flood stage across the Midwest and damaging flooding could happen in the coming weeks down the Mississippi. The river at Prairie du Chien is finally hitting a crest. City officials report that the river hit 22.91 feet, the third highest level on record. They're asking that as people clean up after the flooding, not to burn or bury any debris. They want people to recycle things if they can and separate hazardous materials from things that can go to the landfill. If you discover a large hazardous material release, call the DNR's spill hotline. And the city also has guidelines for getting rid of sandbags. There's an updated post on the city's Facebook page and website with that information. We've got it linked on news8000.com. La Crosse County Sheriff's Emergency Management is asking flood-affected residents to report any damage. According to official release, the Mississippi is crested and flooding is starting to go down, although still very visible along La Crosse. Emergency management teams need to know the scope of the damage and are asking residents to dial 211 to report flood damage. Now, officials say calling doesn't guarantee assistance, but it's helpful to find out who's eligible for disaster assistance programs. The Alaska Fire Department is asking the public to be careful about discarding cigarettes and charcoal grills. Chief Troy Goody says the department has responded to two grass fires in the last two days. He says this afternoon the department quickly contained a small grass fire on Highway 157 by I-90, while Thursday's fire burned about a quarter acre elsewhere. Goody says no one was hurt, but he says these fires are a reminder for everyone that even with high water throughout the region, there is still a risk of fires developing. So talking a lot of river cresting and, of course, risk for fires. Let's right. have a little bit more of a meteorological breakdown with Eric Dean. All right, good evening, Ken. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, we're going to start getting into our drier season uh, coming up over the next few months, but we've got to get past this first, and that's flooding. Wabasha, you guys are sitting at 15.47 feet. We'll go down the river and go to Minnesota City. You're at 663.39, a little bit down the road towards Winona. 
17.67. You're noticing the pattern here. Those numbers are going down, so we have some great news. Trempolo, you're at 650.28. Down to La Crescent, you're at 644.02. La Crosse, we're at 15.32. Just look at that number drop. We were at 15.4 something a few hours ago. Lansing, we're at 19 and a half feet. We go down to Linksville, 630.20. And over towards the McGregor area, checking in with 22.84 feet. Now, the good news, we're sitting at 13.32 feet in La Crosse. Major flood stage is considered 15.5. So we're out of the major flood stage category. That doesn't mean we're out of the woods. Not at all. That just means that the major flooding uh, for the most part is done and we can tell that that water is now starting to go down. But the remnants of this, if you will, will be around for the next several weeks to come. Hey, we made it to the 60s and 70s today. Not a bad day at all. Right now we're seeing temperatures in the 40s and 50s, upper 50s towards Boscobel, upper 40s over towards the Winona area, low 40s towards Ladysmith. Now, you see those 40s on the map, Ken? Mm -hmm. That's going to be what the high end looks like as we go into Sunday. Oh, boy. And we're going to talk about that with the first one forecast in a few minutes. All right. Unfortunately, I'm not as much looking forward to the first one forecast when it's no, when not. highs are in the 40s. It, it'll, it, the forecast is coming whether you like it or not, <laughs> sir. <laughs> All right. We'll take it. Eric, thanks very you much. Bet. All right. Back on the news side of things this evening. La Crosse County Sheriff's Office is asking for the public's help tracking down two suspects and dozens of guns after a burglary earlier this week. Now, according to a release from the sheriff's office, the smoking gun, a gun store in Rockland, was broken into during the early morning hours on Tuesday. 41 guns are now missing. The sheriff's office says they have one person in custody, but are looking for Nehemiah Sample and Robert Benson Jr. If you have any information on the suspect's whereabouts or the location of the stolen guns, be sure to contact La Crosse County Sheriff's Office. We now know why Vernon County's chief deputy was placed on administrative leave back in January. The Vernon County Sheriff's Office released its investigation into Nathan Campbell to News 8 Now this week. Into, in an inner office memo, a coworker reports Campbell pressured her to tell him who she voted for in the November sheriff election and accused her of reporting private information about him in a past investigation. The coworker reported it to HR, who recommended Campbell be fired or demoted for violating anti retaliation and harassment policies. Sheriff Roy Tor Torgerson then placed Campbell on administrative leave and required him to undergo remedial training. Torgerson's decision also includes a warning that any more policy violations will lead to more severe action. Campbell returned to active duty last month. The end of the school year just around the corner, and for families dealing with food insecurity, it wasn't an easy one. The end of pandemic era free meals left families in a tough spot. But as Braden Ross explains, a proposal in Governor Evers' budget could make sure every kid at school eats for free. Hungry kids just can't learn at the, at the same level that a student who's not struggling with that can. During the pandemic, every kid, no matter their financial status, got breakfast and lunch at school for free. It means those families didn't have to worry not only about the financial stressors, but also just Let's be honest, it's hard getting out the door. But those benefits ended this school year, leaving many families struggling to keep their kids full. We had hoped that since the pandemic started to kind of slow down a little bit, we had hoped that the need might slow down, but we really haven't seen that all that much. Food banks like Second Harvest say more people are asking for help since the end of pandemic era programs. We're hearing that from our agencies too, our partners. You know, some had 30, 40, 50. We even had one group, it was in a rural area, 190% increase in the number of people that they were supporting. In the past year, nine states have passed temporary or permanent universal free school meal programs. Now, a proposal in Governor Evers' budget hopes to add Wisconsin to that list. We know where the kids are. The kids are in school. So if we could provide the meals in school, which we already do, but provide them for entirely no cost, this is how we can really make a change. And I just think it's just, it's sort of a, a no-brainer, but also what a great opportunity to, to make a difference in these kids' lives. But as Republicans get close to unveiling their own plan, the future of free school meals is uncertain. I have a lot of hope um, that our legislature will take up um, a budget that really puts kids first. The legislature is expected to officially start work on the budget next Tuesday. Republican leaders haven't said if they'll include universal free school meals in their plan. Organized laborers are calling for action on this Workers' Memorial Day. The Cross Area workers gathered at Chad Erickson Memorial Park today to remember workers who have died on the job, and they renewed calls for companies to reduce on-the-job hazards. 
It's an emotional day for the guest speaker, whose daughter, Brooke, died on a waitressing shift back in 2014. It means the world to me that Brooke will not be forgotten. That is, as a parent, my biggest fear is that uh, dying at 21, people won't remember Brooke or won't realize uh, who Brooke really was. And the Western Wisconsin AFL-CIO organized tonight's event to join similar events nationwide. The group hopes to remind everyone that one worker's life lost is one too many. Still ahead, an uncertain future for another bank. Stock of First Republic Bank plummeting amid fears of a banking crisis. And General Mills is recalling bags of flour. The company says they have gotten exposed to salmonella. It's the Bobby Bones Show. Let's go. We're going to make you laugh. Oh, and the biggest stars in country music, they all come by here. Really? Yeah. Shut up. Join me, Bobby Bones, every weekday morning starting at 6 on Kix 106.3. Hello, my name's Boris, Boris Gump. Chocolate? Mama always said buying a car was like a box of chocolates. Never know what you're gonna get. Me and Jenny, we buy all our cars at Sleepy Hollow. They got new cars and used cars, a body shop, parts and everything. Like me and Nate, the Sleepy Hollow service man, we just like peas and carrots. I'm not a smart man, but if you need a car, you should be running to Sleepy Hollow. The island is going next level. Introducing the all-new High Limit Area at Treasure Island Resort and Casino. Renovated and ready just for you. All your favorite slots and table games. Now with enhanced benefits, exclusive bonuses, and life-changing jackpots. Play with your Island Passport Club card and watch your winnings go next level. Elevate your game at the all-new High Limit Area at Treasure Island Resort and Casino. Destination fun. Hi, it's Elvis Duran. Thanks for listening. We are just the family sitting around the table. Best answer ever! We're always fun. Oh, no. Hi, it's Elvis Duran from the Mix Morning Show. Wake up with us every morning on Mix 96. A report from the Federal Reserve details serious management oversights by the executives of Silicon Valley Bank. SVB collapsed six weeks ago. In the report, the Fed, which is SVB's primary regulator, took responsibility for its own lapses, saying supervisors, quote, did not fully appreciate the extent of the vulnerabilities as Silicon Valley Bank grew in size and complexity. Now, the Fed says it also didn't take sufficient steps to make sure SVB addressed its problems quickly. The future isn't looking good for another lender, as First Republic Bank stock plummets 75% this week. It comes after the company reported Monday that its total deposits fell 41% in the first quarter. The report sparked an exodus out of its stock amid fears of a banking crisis. It's unclear if the bank will collapse. First Republic has already gotten about $100 billion in life support from big banks. General Mills is recalling four varieties of gold metal flour because of potential salmonella exposure. The national recall is for two and five pound bags of bleached all-purpose flour and five and ten pound bags of unbleached all-purpose flour with better if used by dates of March 27th and 28th of 2024. Now the company says sample testing found potential salmonella and they're asking consumers to throw away the recalled flour. Mountain Dew is releasing a new seasonal flavor. It is called Summer Freeze. Mountain Dew says the original citrus flavor is still there with some extra cherry, lemon, and raspberry joined in. All right, the company says it's hitting stores now, and yes, there is a zero sugar version. We'll have a look at what's happening in the area this weekend, including a chance to get a bike for cheap in just a few minutes. And in the world of weather, look at the hour by hour forecast. We'll see upper 40s by the 2 o'clock hour. When you wake up in the morning, temperatures in the low 40s will greet you, but those precip chances, they're going to continue to linger around. We'll break everything down in the first one forecast on the other side of the break. Stay with us. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado and new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best selling retail full size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or current Chevy owners get 37.50 total cash allowance on all 2023 Silverado pickups with a turbo high output engine. Visit hometownchevy.com.
Spring has sprung, the grass has riz. I wonder where the furniture is. At King Furniture, of course. During our spring clearance event, save an additional 10% off our already low prices. Plus, take advantage of 0% free financing. Recliners, sofas, sectionals, dining rooms, and more. With our huge selection of in-stock furniture, low price guarantee, and free delivery, why shop anywhere else? It's the King Furniture Spring Clearance Sale. There are so many things we take for granted. So many things. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for their survival for granted too. The elderly, disabled, the veterans, people on limited and fixed incomes or folks that lost jobs in sectors hardest hit during the pandemic how can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living some people just can't come back and through no fault of their own they're being left behind struggling to keep their heat water and power on if you or someone you know needs a hand up our heat Water and power providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. There are too many options. How do we decide what hotel to book? <laughs> Fear not, I got you. Who are you? I'm your fairy hotel mother. What is happening? Let me help you pick a hotel you feel good about. Choice Hotels is a family of brands with a hotel for every type of stay. Like a comfort with the kiddos. Ooh, spacious. Or Cambria Hotel downtown for just the two of you. Hold my wand, don't wave it at anything. Get the best price by booking direct at choicehotels.com. Mm, yeah. What did I say? Come explore and plan your next home improvement project at the Boards Door Home Improvement's historic eight-building showroom, 524 Copeland Avenue, La Crosse. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. Tomorrow morning, the La Crosse Police Department will hold its annual spring auction. The sale happens at the bike barn, but there's more than just bikes available. It includes anything the department has confiscated over the year. If you're interested, viewing starts at 9 a.m. with the auction happening an hour later. If you're looking for something educational to do with younger kids tomorrow, the La Crosse Fire Department is hosting a fire safety event that's happening at the Children's Museum. The event includes a close-up look at the gear that firefighters use when responding to emergencies. They'll also show everyone what to do in a fire emergency. The department is bringing its safety trailer so families can practice their sa fire safety skills. And the event runs from 9 to 3. And the inaugural Ridges and Rivers Book Festival is happening in Viroqua right now. Well, tomorrow will be the biggest day for the event. The festival has writing workshops, presentations about local history, and visitors can meet authors. We got a link to the festival's website on news8000.com. So a couple of indoor events for this weekend, which yeah. might actually need to be the way to go this weekend. Eric. Absolutely, and if you do have to go outdoors, just take the rain gear with you, especially tomorrow uh, as the rain chances will start off first. Uh, in the morning hours, there'll be a light chance, and then they really ramp up as we go into the afternoon and evening hours. Take a look here at the radar scan right now. You can see a little bit of rain being picked up on the radar, even some heavy rain. I want to go ahead and zoom in across uh, the northern part of the viewing area. You can see right here just to the south and east of Eau Claire, over towards the Bridge Creek area, the Mentor area, seeing some rain. We'll go ahead and move the map, and you can see exactly what's going on across I-94. We're seeing some rain over towards Black River Falls, over towards Warren over towards the Toma area, uh, seeing some rain as well. We'll go across portions of I-90. Uh, La Crosse, earlier we were seeing some rain. Uh, that sense kind of dissipated a little bit. Then we go farther south towards Caledonia. You guys are seeing some rain. New Albany seeing some rain. Hanover and Wacon area seeing some rain as well. And we can take a look here at the past several hours, how this whole thing started. And we'll pull out and take a look here at the home view. We have a low pressure system pushing its way through the area. And that's responsible for all that rain uh, that's uh, coming in. Not only that, but it's going to be responsible for the cooler temperatures as well. So let's go ahead and take a look here now at your forecast uh, for the next several days. First of all, let's talk about rain. Look at this. Since March 1st, we've had 6.24 inches of rain in La Crosse, 5.79 inches in Eau Claire. No matter how you slice and dice it, we are well above normal and the rain chances will continue as we go into the next couple of days. It'll dwindle down Monday morning. That's a morning chance. Then Tuesday through Thursday, we get a break, a small chance next Friday night going into your Saturday. 
outside right now. Look at this. We have mostly cloudy skies. Much cooler temperatures will be the rule this weekend. The rain chances will pick up, but snow chances will pick up as well. Matter of fact, here's the big picture and there's that low pressure system I was talking about. Watch what happens as we go through the next several hours. We get on the back end of this for Saturday and look what happens. So it pushes through. There's that rain chance for Saturday night going into Sunday. By Sunday, a lot of that transitions over to snow, and then as we get into the afternoon hours, it will transition back over to rain, and then it's out of here as we go into Monday late morning, early afternoon. Here's the localized version of Sky Tracker. So here's 3 a.m. We'll start the day off with mostly cloudy skies. There's that stray shower I was talking about in the afternoon hours. Not everybody will see it, but if you do see it, you'll get a brief downpour. That's why I said not much to really affect the flooding, if you will, that's going on. But then by three o'clock, here comes that snow chance in the forecast and that trend continues for Sunday morning going into the early afternoon hours. Then it transitions to all rain. So outside right now, again, we're seeing temperatures in the uh, 30s and 40s across the area. Highs on Saturday will be in the 50s. Highs on Sunday will go into the 40s. Right now we're at 44 in Eau Claire. It's raining in Eau Claire. It feels like 39 with winds out of the northwest at nine miles per hour. In La Crosse, we're at 50 degrees. Our feels like temperature is 50 with winds out of the northwest at 14 miles per hour. The next eight days, we go into the 40s for Sunday, 50s for Monday, upper 50s for Tuesday, upper 60s for Wednesday and Thursday. Then we go back into the low 60s as we go into your Friday and Saturday. But once we get past the rain chances, we have abundant sunshine and warmer temperatures. Now that sounds darn good. Yes, it does. All right, Eric, thanks right, very much. Bet. Coming up next in sports, the Packers adding to their roster on night two of the draft on the offensive side of the ball. Go figure. Plus a busy day for our high school athletes. Panthers with their hands full against Westby on the softball circle. Rob's in next. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. At Mayo Clinic Health System, get personalized specialty care with access to experts from orthopedics to neurosurgery and cardiology to cancer care, all close to home. No one gives you more choices than Dahl Auto. We have the best selection in the region with over 400 new vehicles from nine different brands. Schedule a VIP appointment or buy online at DahlAuto.com. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburgers cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Get 11% off everything at Menards. Protect vehicles, outdoor equipment, and more with Shelter Logic Storage Solutions. We carry a great selection of easy to assemble canopies, shelters, and garages that hold up against the elements. Store your tools, outdoor equipment, and more with Shelter Logic Storage Sheds from Menards. Right now, get a 10 by 12 foot round top shelter for only $279.99 after 11% rebate. Save on all your outdoor storage needs with help from Menards. Save big money at Menards. Want luxury hair repair that doesn't cost $50? Pantene's Pro Vitamin Formula repairs hair, as well as the leading luxury bonding treatment for softness and resilience without the price tag. If you know, you know it's Pantene. My secret to beating Sniff Chicks? Secret dry spray. Just spray and stay fresh all day. My turn. <laughs> secret actually fights odor, and it's aluminum free. Hours later, still fresh. Secret works. The new cars are rolling in at Dahl Auto with over 400 vehicles available. While other dealers have brochures, we have the newest models on the show floor with all the latest technology and safety features. Experience them for yourself at Dahl Auto. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. Before the clouds rolled in, it was a nice and sunny day for our area athletics. We had a big time softball matchup. Coming out of the Cooley Conference, Westby and West Salem, two of the top teams facing off in a Friday doubleheader. We go to West Salem High for game one of two. A bit of a pitcher's duel early on. Here's Josie Brudos getting the strikeout in the first inning, keeping Westby scoreless. Second inning now, Westby's Hannah Nelson rips one down the left field line. That's going to roll into the fence. Nelson is in a second with a stand-up double. A few batters later, 
Whitney Hansen with the ground ball to third, but the throw goes wide. Nelson comes in to score. Westby takes the lead. West Salem trying to get the offense going. Brudos, deep shot here to center field. That gets all the way to the fence. She's in with a leadoff triple, but the future Winona State Warrior would take it to another level with two runners in scoring position. Jada Berg gets three straight strikeouts to keep the Panthers scoreless as Westby would take game one for nothing. They take game two as well, nine to seven. Let's go to the Crescent. Lancers in action playing host to Logan on the diamond. Home team in a jam in the second two on for Tyler Rumsey. Hits it sharply, but the Lancers turn the six, four, three, double play. The Crescent gets two big outs, but the Rangers come through. Next batter, Jackson Bosch. He's going to loft one in a left center for a base hit. Lucas Eilertsen comes in on the RBI single. It's one nothing Logan. Bottom two now, bases full of Lancers, but Rumsey buckles down, gets the strikeout. Big time pitch to get out of a jam and a big time win for Logan as the Rangers shut out LaCrescent 8 to nothing. All eyes were back on the NFL for night two of the draft. Packers going defense in round one, but Green Bay choosing to go offense with their two picks in round two. With the 42nd overall pick, the Packers giving Jordan Love a weapon on the offensive side of the ball as they add the tight end from Oregon State. Luke Musgrave, the 6'6", 250-pounder, ran the fourth fastest 40-yard dash at the Combine earlier this year. Musgrave is, however, coming off a season-ending knee injury, had just two touchdowns in his college career. The Packers originally had the 45th pick, but Green Bay trading down to 50, and the green and gold getting another weapon for love, this time adding a wide receiver to the fold in Michigan State's Jaden Reed. The slot receiver joins Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, and now when you add Musgrave to the mix, Love has a solid offensive core so far heading into next season. Elsewhere around the league, two Wisconsin Badgers coming off the board in round two with the 43rd pick. Aaron Rodgers' new team takes a center in the second round as the Jets select Wisconsin's Joe Tittman. And at 49, the Steelers adding a big defensive piece as Pittsburgh takes Badgers defensive tackle Keanu Benton. Cade will continue coverage of the NFL draft as the Packers continue to add to their squad over the weekend. Brewers opening up a three-game set at home against the Angels. Milwaukee up a run in the fourth until Gio Urshela shoots one the other way. Anthony Rendon jogs in from third to make it tie the, tie the game but one. But in the eighth, Roddy Telez puts the crew back in front. Lines a base hit in a right. Willie Contreras comes in to score. Brewers take the lead, and that is your game winner. Brewers hang on to win it 2-1. to one. Twins looking for their second straight win over the Royals. Bottom four now. Minnesota up two with two on. Jorge Polanco. Blows it open, deep drive to right. This one gets out in a hurry, makes it 7-2 Twins. Then in the fifth, Jose Miranda adding some insurance for Minnesota. He gives this one a ride to left, lands in the bleachers for a solo shot. Minnesota goes up six. Twins hang on for the win, eight to six. But well, we got to talk about the draft. Yeah. Big offensive night, but... I don't know how you feel about those tight end picks. I know, because there was a second tight end added in the third round, there if I'm was. not mistaken. Okay, yeah. so offense, offense, offense. Goody likes to do this. Defense yeah. first, offense next. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of intermediate routes. Yeah. You know, not asking Jordan Love to throw 30 yards down the field. Yep. I think we'll see a lot of like high time possession. I agree. And yeah. this it's offense. Gonna be fun. It Can't will wait be. To see it. All right, thanks, Rob. <laughs> you got it. More news right after this. At Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota, our warehouses are overflowing with items ready for delivery. Bedrooms, sofas, kitchen and dining, it's all in stock. On top of sale prices, if it's in our warehouse, you can take an extra $100 off items over $1,000, $200 off items over $3,000, or $300 off items over $6,000. If it's in stock, save even more. But these discounts won't last. Shop Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Voted your favorite furniture store. This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for spring bonus offers at your Northland Ford dealers, where you can save big on a Ford truck to make it all happen. Start the season off right with 0.9% financing for 60 months, plus 3,500 in total savings on Ford F-150 XLT. It's Showtime. Now for a limited time only, get 0.9% financing for 60 months, plus 3,500 in total savings on Ford F-150 XLT. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. At Batteries Plus, we do more than replace batteries and fix phones and tablets. We help our neighbors power their lives. Need a phone fixed? We got it. Get powered in-store, curbside, and at BatteriesPlus.com. 
I just got the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra from US Cellular. With the most powerful processor yet, it can game smoother than ever. With nitography, it can take selfies in low light. Click. And with a longer battery life and US Cellular's 5G network, it can stream my favorite shows around the clock. Amazing. Can it go back in the back? Yeah, it can go back in the back. Okay. Did you just kiss the phone? Get the Samsung Galaxy S23 free. No trade-in needed from US Cellular. I kissed you? Yes. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Non-drowsy Claritin knocks out symptoms from over 200 allergens without knocking you out. Feel the clarity and make today the most wonderful time of the year. Live Claritin clear. So that no matter what mess you brought into this church today, no matter what addiction and, and what struggle, no matter how many times you've doubted God or questioned God, that because of Jesus Christ, God's not holding it over your head. Instead, there is this amazing grace, there is this unconditional love that you and I can say, God doesn't just put up with us. God, God loves us. Join Pastor Mike Novotny each Sunday. Watch Time of Grace on Channel 8, WKBT. A clothing swap on Winona State's campus is helping reduce waste. Students set up a table where people can swap some of their clothes with donated clothes. The goal is to reduce the effects of fast fashion. Students also had information about how to mend clothes so they can be worn longer. Now, the swap is part of a biology class. One student says she's learning more than she expected about different types of waste. I feel like I've just learned a better understanding of like how everything is used and how it affects our environment in more of a bigger way because I feel like before this class I didn't really consider some of the things like what happened to, to clothes after you throw them away. The leftovers from today's swap will be donated to shelters. The students hope to continue this in upcoming semesters. The Winona State Landscape Arboretum is giving out free tree seedlings to celebrate Arbor Day. Group members set up eight different species at the Winona State Gazebo around lunchtime today. The options included bur oak that can reach heights of 60 feet, as well as red and white pines, and some shrubs that are especially good for pollinators. One organizer says the giveaway helps people who may not be able to afford trees for their property, but it's also a chance for everyone to recognize trees' benefits to planet Earth. Continually uh, in the summertime, put oxygen back into the atmosphere for us, and they absorb carbon dioxide. The tree seedlings will also be available at the Bluff County Co-op and Midtown Foods starting tomorrow until supplies run out. We'll be right back. I won't write your will. I don't write contracts. I won't handle your divorce. I do know a few things about personal injury law. All I do is help injured people get the compensation they deserve. At Buy Golf and Rody. That's how we get results. This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for spring bonus offers at your Northland Ford dealers, where you can save big on a Ford truck to make it all happen. Start the season off right with 0.9% financing for 60 months, plus $3,500 in total savings on Ford F-150 XLT. It's Showtime. Now for a limited time only, get 0.9% financing for 60 months, plus $3,500 in total savings on Ford F-150 XLT. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. Hey golfers, don't miss the golden golf deal at Drugan's Castle Mound. Get a full seven day a week golf membership for only $500 for 2023. Limited $500 memberships are available. So visit the website at drugans.com to purchase this membership or call 526-4144 now before this great deal is done. At Drugan's Country Club, yes, Drugan's News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present Our Community Cares. Earth Fair 2023 is happening April 30th at Myrick Park in La Crosse. A free, family-friendly event featuring arts and crafts, activities, live music, farmers and artisan market, and much more. The Onalaska Library Book Sale takes place April 27th through the 29th at the Onalaska Library. Thousands of books, CDs, magazines, and DVDs. For more information on these events, or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Three-time ACM Entertainer of the Year and eight-time Grammy Award-winning superstar, Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood in concert. Live at the Treasure Island Amphitheater, Friday, July 21st. Get tickets now at TICasino.com. For more, visit CarrieUnderwoodOfficial.com. 
When the insurance company sees Bygoff and Rody on the other side, they know they're in for a fight. It's your life, but it's our fight. And they know that if they're not being fair with us, they will find themselves in court, and that's how Bygoff and Rody gets results for its clients. This eight-day forecast just makes my life interesting. We're talking temperatures <laughs> in the 50s tomorrow, 40s for Sunday, upper 60s for Wednesday, low 60s for Friday and next Saturday. Ah, the roller coaster ride continues, folks. I was going to say, there's a little bit of everything in that eight day. Uh, yeah. minus, we could just... minus severe weather. Yes. Minus severe weather. <laughs> we will take it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great weekend.